Welcome back guys. It is another incredibly windy day here in Kansas. Uh, we kind of joke that we're used to the wind, but this is getting ridiculous. Uh, another day of like 40 and 50 mile per hour gusts. We've been so dry there is just nothing but dirt blowing through the air. Um, we're gonna go drill some native grass though. We're gonna be out of town this weekend. We've only got to use this drill for a couple days. So it has to be done. So don't really want to be out in this weather, uh, you know, with the huge fire risk and things like that. But we should be all right. We're not, we're not going to cause any fires or anything like that drilling, but it's just not super fun in this weather. Good morning guys I uh, didn't get much filmed yesterday um, but we are back to drilling some native grass seed um, we're doing it all we're doing some CRP buffer strips around some fields <clears throat> overseeding and establishing new ones um, we're overseeding some pasture uh, with some switchgrass and big blue stem things like that um, yeah got some other CRP acres, some farm ground that is taken out of production and put into CRP. So a little bit of everything. Didn't get a lot of filming done yesterday, but we're going to try and do some more of that today. Here's an example of a CRP buffer strip. Uh, the green out there is a production ag field, and then we've got these like 30 foot strips around, 30 to 40 foot strips around all of our fields. Now this one looks a little rough. So we overseeded it. We're gonna spray out more of that brome and the stuff that you see in there that's green. Some of it's alfalfa, but that's what that is. We overseeded that yesterday, overseeded this spot right here. We had to put in a new tube in our driveway, so we overseeded this little spot right in here. So that's the kind of stuff we did yesterday. Today you see I'm in a hoodie. Yesterday it's like 82, 83. Made it up to like 83, I think. Winds are like 40 and 50 miles per hour. And now today the winds are still like 30s at least, but it's like 18 or 20 outside. So this spring weather has been just huge swings. I mean, all four seasons in one day, but the wind has been the worst of it all. We could really use the rain. And this 30 mile per hour, you know, 20 mile per hour wind really isn't bad. That's kind of just Kansas. But this 40, 50, 60, you know, we've had 80 mile an hour gusts clocked. I mean, the last almost two and a half weeks solid, just solid wind blowing, no rain, nothing. Where's the guy out? It's hard on a guy. So anyway. Gonna do a little bit of drilling, make sure everything works. Gonna try and get the drone up in the air. Thanks for watching, guys. We will uh, check back in here soon. Yeah, so we're out here just overseeding this, uh, called a pasture with native grass seed. Um, we've interseeded it, we've done different things. It used to be an old pasture. We don't really pasture cows on it if we do it's like short-term stocking just to eat our problem so like if we've got a lot of brome infested in it we try to stock it heavy and eat that brome and then get off of it uh, we've got a little bit of seed in the drill here that we've ordered um, we're going to overseed it with some native grasses big blue stem little blue stem some wildflowers uh, switch grass uh, side of human grass i mean you name it high diversity mix um, so that's what we're doing here on this one.
Alright guys, hope you enjoyed that drone footage. Had to run into town a little bit. Uh, run some errands. Now we're back after it. What we're doing is we're drilling grass with this uh, conservation drill. It's a drill that we've rented from the NRCS office. And uh, we're doing several different things with it. Um, we are planting some CP33 buffer strips around some of our fields. So we're actually taking some of our farm ground out of production, like 40 foot to 100 foot around every field, planting it to a native grass mix um, that is approved by the NRCS to give us some more acres to hunt, to filter water, uh, things like that. Some other things that we're doing is trying to establish or overseeding, uh, establish more native grasses in existing native grass stands. So in that field that we burn off, uh, there's some drone footage there. Uh, there are some places in there that um, the brome is just really taken over. So we burn it off, we'll come back and spray what's green and regrowth, uh, regrown. And you can see that we drilled some native grass into it, native grass blend, to try and help it take off uh, and really get Going. Turn it around here. Uh, right now, in what we did earlier, uh, in some early, earlier clips in this video, is overseeding some pasture. Um, I heard about this thing called pasture cropping. I think some guys are planting like cover crop mixes into their uh, existing pasture. This farm that we're currently on was taking out of, taken out of agricultural production, uh, taken out of row crop farming and put back to grass to graze cattle on. Uh, and it was right about the time that I started working up here. And I'm not sure if it actually ever got seeded to grass. And it's been kind of a weed patch. We've kind of got some brome growing in it. I refer to it as my cool season pasture because uh, I got a lot of cool season grass as well. We're going to overseed it with some uh, with a blend of like alfalfa. There's some wildflowers in there. Uh, there is like some switchgrass in there. And what we're going to try to do is establish some more um, warm season grasses in this pasture. But we're also adding some things like alfalfa and some legumes, like some clovers, some wildflowers for the wildlife, uh, and try to just help this pasture uh, be more productive on all fronts, on hunting, on cattle, uh, everything. Even for as dry as we are, it is nice to see the uh, product of your labor. Uh, some of the stuff that we burn off, you won't be able to see it in the camera, so I'll have to drive around and show you, do like a crop tour. But uh, some of the places we burn off, hoping to promote some new growth of things, we've got just super green brome coming up, some cool season grasses. There's some other places that we burn off that the brome came back and we sprayed it out and we got a good kill on it. We got some native grass overseeded in those areas. Uh, we got turkeys strutting out here. Our wheat's taken off. Looking out on the horizon, you can see the wheat just greening up. And I know if we don't get a rain here in the next few days, it's going to be a bad deal. Um, and I know, but I know there's a lot of people worse off. And uh, you know, it's not bad yet. And so I, uh, I kind of like this time of the year. It's a clean slate, chance to do it all over again, make things better. Comment down below if you would like a plot tour, if you would like to see some of our pasture, uh, some of our farms that we're managing for hunting, some of our farms that we're managing for better grasses, better soils. There's so much that I notice when I'm doing these videos that I want to ramble on to the point that they don't make sense because we do have so much going on and I want to tell you a bunch, but then I paraphrase. It's, it's hard to explain. I'm even doing it right now. Um, but I think if I made a video I could go way more into depth in what we're actually doing um, when I talk about overseeding, what we're actually doing when I'm talking about um, spraying out cool season grasses, but on a totally different farm while we're not spraying out cool season grasses. And so comment below, see uh, you guys that follow this channel, if there's stuff you'd like to see more of, let me know. Um, if you'd like to see me get rid of this ugly mustache, you're in luck, because it might happen tonight, might not, I don't know. Kind of like the uh, Val Kilmer look the old tombstone look.